there is just a sincerity in, in his voice and in his actions when he talks about these it's, things that I think makes him immensely likable. Exactly. That, that's the word. I mean, he has a likability about him, even when he gets to a point where hopefully the day comes where he dominates the league, like yeah. he did college basketball for a season. You'll, you'll you'll see other markets, kind of like a KD quality that he had in Oklahoma City. Yeah, where KD was went, a friend for a while. Oh, everybody liked KD when he was in Oklahoma City. I mean, he had this brand that seemed like it was untouchable. It was it was a a unblemished brand for a superstar playing at that level uh, that had this likability to him. The difference is, I do feel KD was a little boring, maybe compared to Zion, and maybe I'm just not paying enough attention to KD. I feel like Zion's got a little more personality than uh, than, yeah. than KD was kind of showing. He does, he does, and he's much more dialed in and uh, interactive with I, people. I also think he probably understands that when people talk about you online, you should just. Uh, KD's the most interactive with people. Yeah, that's, that's, kinda, uh, that's KD's problem. Is he's a little he's too interactive, but, little but too not as KD. Yeah, no. you know what I mean. Like everybody knows who Zion is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just got he just got popped. Okay, before before okay, because I know we can't spend too much more time on the Pelicans. People are going to lose their mind. Actually, they're not though, I mean, which yeah, is right. maybe a sign of the time. It's actually, because they which can't is hear great. us, and it's game week. Um, but but let's 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 play the JJ Redick, Zion Williamson clip from yesterday. Praise be. Uh, it is. Yeah, God, J.J. Redick, wow. I mean, I'm not supposed to play this, am I? Uh, not, I'm supposed to play this. She okay. has the edited one. You say. be careful. You don't you play any Redick sound. don't touch okay. anything. All right. You know, if you had asked me this question two years ago, when I was like 11, in my first 11 years, I, I, I would have said, eh, whatever, it's not a big deal. My first conversation, real conversation with Zion, was a couple weeks ago. We got to chat for 20 minutes or so after one of the workouts. The last thing I said to him, I said, look, man, Yeah, Zion's response to it was great as well. I thought it was a complete joke story. And so he said, don't F this up for him. Um, it wasn't a joke. He, he really told Zion that. Reddick's got a great podcast. He's a guest on the Low Podcast, and he gives great stories there. There's two additions that we haven't talked about at all for this New Orleans Pelicans team in the offseason that I think is going to be instrumental on, on where they're going. That's Derek Favors. Yes. And that's J.J. Reddick. And Derek Favors may even be the bigger piece of the puzzle. Because um, not only is he just a damn good five that does all the dirty work like Cavell Bigby. If you're just approaching from an LSU basketball standpoint, he's like a Cavell Bigby Williams, but way better yeah. from last year. Uh, and did you hear his story at Media Day? He's an Atlanta native, and uh, he's taking an Uber, and he tells the guy that he's a Falcons fan, and the Uber driver pulls over and tells him to get out and says, <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't drive a Falcons fan around. <laughs> so he quickly learned not to be wearing any uh, any Falcons so gear in the great. building. <laughs> Cavell Bigby Williams is getting his shot. Will he make the team? We'll see here in training camp. But here he is talking about his time at LSU and now where he is. Well, it was a great experience. You know, those guys you know put me in a position to be successful over there. I had great teammates. Um, you know, great people around me supporting me and helping me throughout the process. So you know, it just was you know uh, just like a credit to them helping me and uh, from. As a shoe, the, you know, the role I had in the team, it helped me go moving forward to another team because uh, the role I had was, you know, an energy guy, defensive guy, and a lot of guys in the NBA um, look for a big man that could do those kind of things. So it kind of set me up for the success that I had in some of the. So Cavell Bigby Williams, I have his shot to make the roster with the Pelicans. We'll talk a little bit more about media day with the Pels and the.